What is up guys, Ruluck here and we are back in Minecraft and in the last episode we went ahead and made our nether hub ruin area so yeah now we have all of this right here so now we can locate our top of our nether wall I guess you could say the roof so yeah basically we're going through there we get to the gold farm and today what I wanted to do was make our piglin farm or hoglin farm and that way we can go ahead and keep grabbing some cooked uh, pork chops because we are running low on them we do have some steaks from the cow farm but this is supposed to be a farm that gives a lot of food and as well as leather so yeah uh we could make it over here on the roof of the nether it's probably the best location actually to put it but i was thinking maybe we can put it over in our nether hub so yeah we could probably put it like somewhere in the sky or down here just enough so that we can spawn just that and these but those are spawning right there anyway so i don't want to ruin the spawn rate as well so we're gonna go ahead and head over to the other uh nether hub so that way we can start making on one of the sides our hoglin farm so let's see that's the door we're supposed to head over there and we should run into the ice bike biome very shortly we made the portal this way then we had the lava over there i believe so i think this is the crimson area right over here we're gonna take all of this out this this and this and we gotta see if there's a crimson forest somewhere around here uh let me see it took a screenshot again uh warped forest let's see crimson forest okay yeah so pretty close actually now we gotta see how far that reaches so right here we have warped all of this is warped then here's crimson so this must be like a breaking point right here so we want to go ahead and reach over here how far is this this is crimson 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 yeah so this is basically where i think we're going to be building so I'm going to go ahead and empty all of this out, and I'll be right back. And we are back. So as you can see, we've dug out our hole. These are part of actually the other side, which is the tunnel. Right here, I think I can't block this one. Or maybe I can. Yeah, okay, it's not important. Because I do have the fire on this side. Which is the lighting, so I thought it was one of those, but yeah, it's not, so perfect. Uh, so yeah, basically we dug out each one of these little blocks that I have coming out are five long. So from here to here would be five, so here five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty blocks. And then on the sides we have, I believe it's twelve maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15 blocks. All right, so 15 should probably be good. Later on, we'll be making our hoglin farm over there. This is probably where we're gonna AFK at. And then here in the middle, we'll see what we can do to reduce the spawn rates because this isn't exactly the best spot to build it, but I did want to fill up these four corners of the nether hub. So here, we're probably gonna light it up completely or put glass or something so it's not non-spawnable now first thing we need to do is find a warped fungus which i believe look at that we have our enderman over here that gave us a, a warped fungus or warped block i guess it's called so i think here we can go ahead and grab our nope like this Let's see when we get something else. Let's see. Hopefully we can get a fungus before we run out. If not, we're gonna have to probably go right above us. Oh, there we go, we got one. So perfect, now we need, uh, I'd say about maybe eight. So this probably would be faster on an entire biome of this, but... Uh... There we go, two. Okay, so it's not completely hard. Let's see if we can get more. There's three. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going as soon as I get eight, I'll be right back. 
All right, so perfect. We managed to get 10 of them. We got 59 warped roots, but we also got 10 warped fungus. So this is basically what scares the hoglins to the other side, basically, from where they are. I think it's about eight blocks distance. So yeah, we got that now. We are going to need uh, lava, but we'll go ahead and do that later. So first things first, let's go grab our building blocks. Thankfully, we're right here where we have everything. So let me go ahead and put this away. We're only going to need maybe one stack just for scaffold. Let's see. We got that. Let's grab polished blackstone brick. We're going to use slabs to save on materials. Uh, let's grab all of this. Maybe this. Something like that, maybe. And we also need some... There we go. Soul sand. Soul sand can't fall, right? I don't think it can. No, okay, perfect. So, soul sand it is. That way, the endermen don't mess up the farm. That way, they don't grab the... If we put dirt, they're going to grab the dirt and they're just going to take it anywhere else. With soul sand, I believe they can't. So, uh, next thing we have to do... We have to make our... Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... So you want to build it, I believe, right here. So we put, we'd put warped fungus right here. A space or two spaces. Then lighting, two spaces, and then the end. So yeah, this should be the the barrier. This is where the spawn is gonna start the farm, I should say. And now from here we have to go four up. So let's go over here in the corner. So that'd be one, two, three, and four. And then from here, we can go ahead and go with slabs. We'll go with top slabs, so that way they do spawn. And then right here, we want to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to put that with... Th oh, we can't put it. No. We're going to need then uh, soul soil, I think it's called. So yeah, uh, we're going to have to go grab that. Uh, actually, yeah, let me go ahead and grab that and I'll be right back with the farm All right, so now we're back. We've got our soul soil Which we can now put right over here in that corner. So perfect now we got to get up there uh, Let's take this Like that perfect so then as I was saying before we would put our warped fungus right here with a brick on uh, well a fence any fence gate or wall right above it so just like that so that way they don't collide and that way it doesn't confuse the the hoglins into like fleeing over there we want it to go over here so now we're gonna fill up this entire area make sure everything is top slabs because we want things to actually spawn here so like that we're probably gonna make a three wide gap between each mushroom so the next one over here is going to be soul soil again. Then the fungus, then the wall. And we repeat the process all the way till we get over there. So let's go ahead and do this just to make sure we got the right area. We put that, that, and that. Then over here again, two and three. This one we might extend over here like that and like that so this one is gonna have a bit more we could probably push these a bit further out so if these are three three these would be four four so i'm thinking we just probably take this one out grab that grab that grab that put that here or maybe just push it one further so now we'd put a fungus right here with our wall and our slab. So now we have one, two, three, and four. This one would be the same. So right here, then we take this one out and it would be a three wide. Okay, that's fine. Don't need it to be exact. We just need everything to be in a radius. So right here, we don't need any fungus on the side since it's such a short distance. And then here, we want to go ahead and put this all the way across. 
and we do need to light up the area with torches or any lighting sources so i think we have lanterns just enough and like this so now we can go ahead and put our lantern should be enough yeah and we're gonna put them right here between both maybe right here if we put it right here let's see yeah it should be fine right there one every other should be fine perfect so now we have all of this lit up let's see the lighting Perfect, 12s, some 11s. All right, should be fine right there. And then right here, it's a one space, one space, two right here, and then here we'd probably want the... Is he dying? Somebody was dying over there, I think. Uh, right here, we're gonna want the kill chamber. So this is probably gonna go out right over here. Then over here, we're gonna take this one out. And then extend this one. Take these two out. Extend this one. Over here. And right here. Perfect, so that's what we want right now. We'll light up this area as well so nothing can spawn or we'll just put it all glass or whatever we can work with. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and grab our materials. All right, so we repaired our tunnel. So now we have all of these. So they get, leave a one block gap. So that way we can put our lava. And what we're gonna do, I was thinking we'd probably put glass just so that we can see what's going on if whatever is getting killed is getting killed and all of that. So we're probably gonna go ahead and cover all of this right there and then here we'd have to cover this up nope not like that so just like this stupid lanterns making me go up a bit all right so now that all of this we have to fill up with lava so we only have one lava bucket so we're gonna have to go what are you doing here we're gonna have to go to the overworld or well, overworld uh just above the land right here and go ahead and fill all of that up first things first let me go ahead and do this so that way you can get up here all right perfect thing like that we should be fine and then here we could put our block of lava and I think with just one, maybe two more, I made enough. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and find some lava and we're going to fill all of this up with lava. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill all uh, 27 of these and I'll be right back. All right, so now we got all of our lava filled up. As you can see, we have all of this right here. And I didn't want to break these, but I did find some of the ancient debris let's go ahead and throw that away so we got just a couple so over here there's three then over here two i don't know if there's something more behind that wall we got another one over there another two over there so i wanted to leave it for the for you guys to see so let's go ahead and take these out thank you and then we need to reach those so let's go ahead and break these there we go, now we got three. Let me hit and take this. So that's three. Do we have any more from behind the walls? Nope, okay, so over here. With this, that makes six, so seven, eight. I do have a fire resistance potion, so the fire is not hurting me. Like that. Let's see if there's anything else. Over there, we got a couple more. Go ahead and grab over here. We got this one right here. We have a huge lava ocean right here. As you can see, all of this is covered. 
Uh, let's reach over here. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Crap. I think we're going to lose that one. Yeah, something burned. Ow, 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 ow. Fire. So I think we might have lost one. But that's fine. We got ten either way. I don't know if we have any more. I'll go ahead and take a look around. And I'll meet you guys back at the base. Okay, so now we have our ancient debris in our oven. It's cooking up right now. So now we got to go ahead and fill all of this up. Uh, let me go ahead and break these two. Go ahead and get back up here. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Let's see if it reaches completely. Okay, so we make it over there, over here. Perfect, so it covers it all. And now the ideas for these, I gotta grab the other ones, is for the trap doors for AI, is that it's a basically a floor. So you can go ahead and they walk over it, even if it's closed or open. So they don't really distinguish either or. So they basically just say, oh look, there's a place I can go, I can walk across. So they go over here and they cross and they fall. So basically now what we're gonna do is so that they don't jump over, we gotta go ahead and put another one right here. We can go ahead and pop these two off carefully without falling. And that way when they jump over here, they won't be able to get on top of these. So they have to be exactly above these. If they're one block further, they'll hold on right here and they won't fall in. So again, you want to go ahead and do this. Open these. Take these two out. Like that. So go ahead and do the same with all of these. Let's just go ahead and place them. And then open these. Later on, we'll put the sides in. All right. I hate playing with lava. All right, so here we need our fence gates and some more slabs. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that. I put all of our building materials over here. Uh, we got our walls. We're gonna need fences. I think a normal wall should work. Yeah, they should work. Let's see. Let's put some lighting just in case. Extra lighting. We'll take one of these trap doors. And let's climb back up. Oh, and these you also need so they can think that they can walk over here so they can get away from the mushrooms. They land over here and they try to fall over here, but technically they'll never cross. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, I can't make it across, so I'm just going to go ahead and build it out of this. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and put... You could either put a full block. Like this or half slab. So you want them to go right over here. You don't want them to think of going around and into there. So we go ahead and do that. Put a slab. And I put another wall just in case. So this to add, add extra glow, extra lighting. Because technically that is a spawnable spot. So that might actually ruin our spawn rate. So I have to go over there in just a bit. Let's go ahead and put the slabs on first, and then the walls. Perfect, so now we want to walk across. Okay, I said walk across, but we're going to have to spawn proof all of those. I thought I had my silk touch. Oh well. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over. So as I was saying right here, we're going to need to spawn proof this. Yeah, there's a top block. Top slab. We want to go like that and cover all of this up. So we don't get any spawns out here. And with that, that should be the whole spawn completed. Let's see. Yep, 
Yeah, so let's just put some glowstone up on the roof just to add a bit more lighting. Uh, like that. Right here. Right here and right here. Alright, just to give it a bit more lighting here and there. Let's see, one in between each wall. The more lighting, the better. We just want to make sure that only the, the hoglins spawn. So let's see, everything is closed, perfect. Now we can go ahead and head down here. We don't have anything to block this off with, so... I'm gonna go ahead and waste that. Here we need to make sure there's nothing spawnable. And then here we'll have to fill it up, I guess, with slabs. So nothing spawns in right here. And then after this, we're gonna go ahead and fill up our lava lake. Our man-made lava lake. Ah, I'm gonna need more slabs. Let's see. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab more slabs and I'll be right back as soon as we start with the lava ocean. All right, since we're gonna be playing with our lava ocean, I wanna make sure we're safe and sound. Let's put this over here just for now. And let's take these fire potions, just in case. We're gonna go ahead and put lava on each side of these walls. Let's go ahead with our first potion. We can throw that away. And now we want this and this. Let's go ahead and keep one on us, just in case. We want to go ahead and fill up, make sure everything it touches. Okay, perfect. One right there, one right there, let's see, one over here, and one over here. The thing about lava lakes is that they don't fill up, so anything you leave is going to stay like that. So right here there's going to be a little slant, it's not going to fill in completely. Here in the middle we're going to have just a random higher lava we can go ahead and fill this up later on let's see if i put one right here in the middle if it'll fill it up if i can reach see right there perfect so now we have our entire lava lake we can go ahead and take advantage of the timer so we can go ahead and set a few more buckets down just like that Always pay attention to the timer. You don't want it to run out. Uh, let's take this over here, this over here, and this over here. Let's put them in the corners. So that way they elevate a bit more. Like that. Yeah. Then right here we can put another one. And then one over here. It is not fun playing in lava. All right, we still got time. One over here in the middle. Let's go ahead and put one right here. One over here in the middle. More or less right there. Maybe one over here. One over here, and then we have two more. Let's put one over here on this side. And another one right here. And let's get the hell out of the lava. So now we have our man-made lava ocean, or lava lake, I guess you could call it. Let's put this away. And we'll just have to put some glass here so we don't accidentally go in there. Because we are kind of stupid. Let's see, knowing my luck. I'll fall right in. And that should start activating now the the hoglins. We do have spawns everywhere around us, so it's kind of difficult for them just to spawn. Let's see. This is why you put it over the nether roof. So you don't have these kind of problems with the spawning rates. 
So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and let's empty this out. And hopefully we can start seeing some spawn rate soon. So yeah, I'll be right back as soon as there's something in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and check on our farm. Doesn't seem to be spawning anything. Uh, we did get a pig, little hoglin. So yeah, it's not the most optimized because we... We do have some spawn areas. I did somewhat uh, slab all of these floors that I could. I lit all of this up. But yeah, it's just a question of down here. That's probably why people make it up in the nether roof. Well, not why. That's, that's why they make it up in the nether roof. So that way the pigs do spawn continuously and they do uh, give you food constantly. So yeah, we're probably going to have to transport all of this up to the nether room, the nether roof. And yeah, but I'll, I'll probably do that on my own time, just so you guys don't have to see it all over again. But the basic principle is the same. You put slabs right here, slabs right there. They try to jump over because they're afraid of the fungus. And they drop into the lava right there. That picks it up, the hoppers. And they transport it all the way over here. So yeah, I'll do that on my own time. And I'll do it in probably the next episode. I'll show you what happened. But yeah, for now, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you do comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.